So um, we've placed three more photos on top of our original photo, which is in the background layer. So now we have these three photos. Um, <clears throat> if you want to change the order in which they're laying, you can push them up this way. So now you can see the lines one is covering the perspective one. If I move the shape one down, we won't be able to see it at all because it's smaller than the other two. Um, but that's how you change the way uh, items are layered. And um, it's pretty easy to do. You can't change where the background layer is um, as long as it's a locked background layer. If for some reason you wanted it to be a normal layer, you can double click this lock and convert it to layer zero. Um, and then it can be moved around like anything else. So sometimes you need to do that, sometimes you don't. What I want you to do now is resize the photos and tilt them a little bit. To resize the photos, you simply click to the Move tool. Um, and remember that these are where the properties are. If I click Show Transform Tools and then click um, the Shape layer, the Shape Photos layer, uh, you can see that there's now Transform Tools on here, which allow me to resize. Um, I would encourage you to use the Shift when you resize, then it resizes in proportion. So I can resize that a little. It doesn't um, cement as the new size until you hit Enter. That's what the X means, so I'm going to hit Enter. That's now my new size. Notice if I put my mouse slightly outside of the one of the corner handles, the icon turns into a little arc. That allows me to rotate it slightly. So I'm going to do that and hit Enter. Now I'm going to switch to the Lines layer. The Transform tools are already showing. So I'm going to hold down Shift and resize this one. I'm going to tilt this one a little bit this way and hit Enter so that takes effect. Then I'm going to move to the side here. Um, if I want to move my geometric one, I got to switch to that layer again. And then I can move it a little and hit enter. Now I'm going to select the perspective layer so I can resize this blue sky tree one. I'm holding down shift again. And I also want to rotate this one. I'm going to hide and then hit enter. Then I'm going to <clears throat> then I'm going to pull that one up to this corner. I think I want to make the shapes a little bit smaller. So I'm going to resize that a little more. Ugh. Okay, so um, I think you get the idea. I'm going to... I'm going to stop here and you guys, you can get that done in so that you can see all of your photos.